The following segment is sponsored by the D.C. Office of Cable Television, Film, Music, and Entertainment. For more information, visit entertainment.dc.gov. All right, it's Friday, for, so time for our DMV sound check. And while we can't have bands in the studio, we still want to bring you some of the amazing uh, performers and artists we've had on our show, especially while we deal with this time of adversity. Here's a heartwarming story for you. Recently, we interviewed a young man named Matthew Whitaker. He started learning the piano at the age of three. Matthew then went on to tour across the country and abroad and speaking about dealing with adversity because here's the thing, he is legally blind. So great to have you here, Matthew. Thank you so much for having me. 18 years old, and you have been playing on the most amazing stages everywhere, the Apollo Theater, right? Yes, yes. So yes. you, for our audience at home, you were born blind, correct? Yes, I was. So yes. how did you figure out how to play the piano? When did you realize you had this musical gift? My grandfather is the one, is the one who started all this. Uh, at three years old, um, he gave me my first keyboard, and I taught myself nursery rhymes at, at the age of three, and at five is when I started taking uh, piano lessons. Okay, what was the first nursery rhyme you learned? Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one to start with. Yeah. And so you have been performing ever since. You are just yes. so talented Thank on the you. on the piano, and you, you so opened much. for Stevie Wonder at the Apollo, yes. is that right? Yes, 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 it was really amazing. Uh, I got a chance to meet him, uh, meet, meet him in his dressing room and um, he, he gave me one of his harmonicas as well. His uh, harmonica? Oh, yeah, my. yeah. So it's, how old were you? About like 10 I think. Oh yeah. my gosh. 10, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, 10 years old, yeah. What was it like meeting somebody like him um, <laughs> and he's been such an inspiration. How did he affect you? What did he say to you? Um, we didn't really get a chance to talk that much because uh, it was like a few minutes before I was supposed to go on stage mm -hmm. and play. <laughs> but um, he wanted yeah. to keep you in the, in the zone, right? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to keep you in the zone. But that had to be amazing to meet somebody yes. that's overcome something yes. like you have. Yes. Definitely. And so, all right, you have new music coming out, correct? August 9th, yes. And, and 9th. What, uh, what can we expect? What, uh, what songs? What's the style? Um, a lot. It's um, jazz, Latin, R&B, funk, even gospel, you know, is on there. Uh, yeah, uh, every, everything, everything. And before we let you uh, start to perform, I want to say congratulations because you are heading to Juilliard yes. this fall. Congrats. Yes. You are the first uh, blind student that they've yeah. had in the history of the program. What yeah. made you want to go there? Um, Aside from it being Juilliard and being uh, well, amazing. <laughs> well, um, uh, I wanted to, um, to uh, I, I want to expand musically, you right. know, on, on piano, on jazz piano, and as you said, I'm the first uh, blind student in the jazz studies program, and um, uh, I'm super excited. I'm a little nervous, you know, but yeah, it's a big city here. Everybody's nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's nervous, you know, but um, of course. What an yeah, accomplishment uh, um, on yeah. top of everything else. What are you going to play for us today, Matthew? I'm going to play an original song that I wrote called Emotions, which is on the new record, um, Now Hear This. All right. So we have August 9th. Now Hear yes. This is coming out. And here, everybody, Matthew Whitaker. Okay. Please take it away when you're ready. Hit it.
All right, oh. isn't he amazing? So good. Matthew Whitaker, as you heard, is in college. He just finished a tour in Germany. And Ellen, the great thing is, um, scientists are so amazed by his ability to play that yeah. they're actually starting to study his brain to really see oh, wow. what it is about music that can help somebody else like him. It's yeah, just awesome. watching him play. I mean, you, you just learn it a different way. He's yeah. incredible. Uh, if you at home are a member of a group or a band, or maybe you're even a solo artist and you would like to come on and perform on our DMV Soundcheck, just send us a sample of your talent. It's uh, at the website. We actually have it on the screen right there. DMV Soundcheck at WUSA9.com. Hopefully you can come on, we'll get you recognized, and then you're going to become a huge star, right, Kristen? And thank us in your <laughs> Grammy acceptance speech, yes. right? <laughs> All right.